First, we're actually gonna cover how you can actually generate two sources of revenue in one ATM, guys. Second of all, we're gonna be covering the secrets to having an actual BTM and ATM portfolio because at the end of the day, you wanna expand your portfolio. And then we're actually gonna cover how you can fully automate your BTM business with ATMtogether.com, guys. What's going on, guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Getem Yonas with ATMtogether.com. Welcome to another weekly live, guys. I am actually live from Miami. And if you're from New York, you probably say Miami, right? It's a six borough, all right? No offense, guys, no offense. We're just running into a lot of New York City guys. So if you are excited, guys, I mean, this is one of the, the, the best lives out there because at the end of the day, we believe in value. That's the reason why we have this. We've actually been doing this for about two years now since January 2021. So it's actually been, yeah, two years. Consistency, guys. Think about that. That's 52 lives in a year. So that's 100 and my man, <laughs> as you guys can tell, I was in the Marine Corps, so my math is not bad. So it's over 100 lives, guys. All right. So with that being said, guys, welcome. This is another edition. We're all about giving value to the community because the best thing we can see to give back is to see you build an ATM business or just a business in general. This might give you the motivation for that. So welcome. Appreciate you guys attending. Why don't you comment below, guys? I actually want to see where you guys are located at because we're actually considering moving the ATM together offices from San Diego. So comment the city and state you're calling from. And I say calling because you're, you're logging into this. So comment the city and state below. I want to see exactly where you guys are actually watching this live from, guys. Let's see. Uh, 104. Yeah. Eric, thank you for the math help. I like that. <laughs> Connecticut. Okay. Pennsylvania. That's what I'm talking about. Stefan. Oh, San Diego. What's up? Shout out to our local residents. Emmett, Massachusetts. Awesome, awesome, awesome. How many people from Miami? Come on. We're actually looking at moving the weekly lives and the ATM together office to Miami, but we got to see if there's anybody here to give us some recommendations. Gabriella, Miami, what's going on? Bishop, Mississippi, Hampton, Virginia. That's what I'm talking about. I was in Quantico for a bit. I can't go back to Virginia, guys. Awesome, guys. Awesome. So just in case you guys didn't know, we're pre-recording this for YouTube. So with that being said, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button below because our video editor, she, she loves to do this. She's phenomenal. It's going to be right here. I want to make it easy for her right now, guys. So, and if you guys don't have access to our YouTube, I mean, this is the time to get it because at the end of the day, this is what's going to happen. Back in the day, two years ago, we we're in the Facebook group. We we're like, guys, we're going to have like a thousand members and everyone's like, nah, we don't know about that. It was like 300 members. As you see now, there's about 50 something thousand members in the Facebook group. We're exploding. This is like Airbnb before anybody knew about it. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It is youtube.com forward slash the at sign ATM together. And you're going to get access to these lives, short reels. Paul drops some value. He's going to announce a new venture. Maybe, maybe if you guys comment, I'll, I'll tell you what this new venture is, but a new company that's forming too, guys. All right. And if you guys are live watching this right now from wherever you are, 8 p.m. Eastern time, 5 p.m. Pacific time, whatever, comment live below. I want to make sure you guys are actually real. There's no bots following us, guys. It's 2023. Chat GPT. We got to be scared. All right. Skynet's coming active. So comment live below. But it's okay if you're watching this as a replay. Maybe you're busy. Maybe you're partying over the weekend, got a little tired. It's okay. This might be a year from now that you're watching this. Comment replay below. I personally respond to the comments, whether it's six months later or two months later. I don't care. I will respond. So comment replay so we can get you the information you guys need. All right? So I'm going to make this a very short live because I'm starving. I need to get some dinner. And if you guys are from Miami, you know the Cubanos are muy bueno. So at the end of the day, guys, remember, when you comment, it helps the algorithms. We want to get the reach out to as many people as possible because at the end of the day, there's nothing better than be able to help as many people start their ATM, BTM, whatever business. As long as you start a business to change your future, we are personally happy, guys. All right. So I have a very important announcement. Pay attention. Yes, you right there. I'm talking to you. Pay attention. We are the only company in Northern America to offer ATM automation in Canada. Think about that for a second, guys. We are the only company. I mean, I don't I don't know. I mean, 
I mean, I'm, I'm asking myself. Say what? It, oh, okay. I don't know who that was. But at the end of the day, guys, this is Say phenomenal. What? We're the only ones able to offer this. So I want to make sure you understand the gravity of this because at the end of the day, we're all about networking. So here's the thing. If you're from Canada or maybe you're interested in the future to have an international business, to be the first in your family, the first in your friends probably to say that you own an international business, comment Canada below. One of our team members will give you access to information to break down exactly how you, a U.S. resident, can actually invest in an ATM business in Canada, guys. We're exploding over there. It's, it's absolutely phenomenal. And then with the toppers I'm going to go into, I mean, it is wildness right now, guys. I mean, I should hear some, some audience clapping over here. It, it's just crazy. <laughs> Right? Oh, there we are. There we are. All right. So, with that being said, guys, we're here in Miami because we were supposed to be on Fresh and Fit. Things happen. So, unfortunately, something happened. We're unable to attend Fresh and Fit today. That's okay, though. It was actually supposed to be yesterday. That's okay. What you learn in the Marine Corps, what you learn in law enforcement, what we learn in business is you improvise, you overcome, and you adapt because you guys are winners. Don't let anything hold you back. So we'll make it happen. We're just going to have a really good live. We're going to bring some value to you guys. No one on YouTube deserves us yet. Only you guys. So with that being said, we're going to reschedule that. We'll let you know when the event's actually going to happen because we're going to make some special announcement there, guys. All right. But here's the thing, guys. Because we care about the people, we're like, what can we do to make 2023 an absolute banger all right because paul and me man we were we i found my old ipod touch guys the thing with a broken screen it had the button in the middle i had to go to amazon to get one of the old connectors i started listening to some old music i got hyped sorry some manny fresh some diplomats come on man i got hyped so i was like paul this is what we're gonna do we're about to make 2023 wild we don't care about a recession at atm together we make it happen for the people so this is what we're gonna do guys in the time of a recession we got something special for you all right you guys really want to know what this is let me let me see comments info below if you want me to tell you what's going to be the special announcement for 2023 guys comment info below if i don't get enough comments i'm just going to skip it i'm going to go straight to the lessons guys i'm all about the people Bilal, that's what i'm talking about bernard canada okay kent eric we got we got the loyal troopers here that's what i'm talking about we got the squad out here all right so with that being said guys we are going to have another raffle I know, I know, I know, guys. I know. You're probably like, we just had one. How many ETMs did you give away? Hey, unlimited. Unlimited, guys. You know what? This is the reason why, guys. This is what we got. We got everything available, guys. We got everything available. We, we are fully stocked with ATMs ready to roll. So we're like, you know what? Set one of those bad boys aside. Because at the end of the day, we're all about the people and we want to jumpstart your business. So this is what, exactly what's going to happen, guys. All right? So we're going to have a raffle. It's going to be announced in February. So you might have a present for that significant other or significant others if you get down like that. It's all good. It's all good. We're in Miami. Anything can happen. So we're going to have a raffle. We're going to be giving out three different prizes, guys. Not one, not two, but three. All right? Tres. First prize is going to be a full automation package. And check this out. If you want that package in Canada, we'll make it happen, guys. If you're a U.S. resident and you want that automation package in Canada, I will make it happen. I just did a last-minute pivot. Paul's over here like, stop, stop. We're not doing that. Get them. I don't care. We're making it happen, all right? I run things over here, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, guys, all right? This is, this is chaos. This is a rebellion. So full automation package that includes an atm location a topper um it's it's wildness guys you're gonna have a full turnkey business so you can jump start your business all right the second prize is going to be a free hi you sung halo 2 atm guys that is a brand new top of the line crypto capable atm if you want to do that it's one of those beautiful sexy atms you start seeing whenever you go to the bar or you go to the club Wherever, that ATM at the front where they get you on that cover charge, that's what you're going to be getting. And the third prize, because the best person is always third, is going to be a free guaranteed ATM or BTM location, guys. It's wildness. We're making that happen in ATM together this year, right? So you're going to win either a full automation package, whatever country, an actual free ATM or a free guaranteed location, right? And we're going to look, we're going to make sure it's premium because we got to make sure you're happy 
right? So if you're excited to win an ATM, guys, a full package, whatever, and you know you're about to have that golden ticket, comment winner below, guys. Comment winner whether, I mean, at the end of the day, guys, let's, let's keep it real. Whether you win the raffle or not, you are a winner. And the reason why, and this isn't some, you know, some lovey-dovey stuff, you're a winner because you're attending this live. Self-education is key. Paul preaches this. I preach this. I preach this to my family. I try to get my, them to watch this because at the end of the day, you're here to self-educate yourself and expand your resources, your network, and to get yourself in a different zip code. Let's keep it real. Don't let the brokies, don't let the normies take you down. You're here to win. That's why you're here. Don't listen to society with that white noise, guys. They're always talking about, oh, no, you know, take your time, relax, get that vacation. No, 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 no. We're winners here. At ATM Together, we only mess with the best, all right? Screw the rest, as they say. That's a, prior, a rap song if you guys recognize that, all right? Shout out to diplomats. Now, with that being said, guys, let me get to the agenda, all right? So, and actually, you know what? I should probably tell you how to enter this raffle. That's, that, that should probably, I'm seeing some questions here, guys, all right? <laughs> I apologize. I get, I get excited, right? I got some rap music playing. So if you want to enter the raffle, all you need to do is go to my Instagram profile at get em why myself and Paul were collaborators. You're going to see the post. It's going to tell you super simple instructions. All you have to do is go to the Instagram, repost it to your story. And don't worry, you can actually do this on Facebook too. repost it to your story, take a screenshot and enter the raffle. That's it. And I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret just because I care about you guys. And I also understand that you're joining this Facebook live, right? So I'm I like, I like to take care of the Facebook family. You know, like we're old school Facebook family. Instagram's cool, right? But we're all about the Facebook, all right? So possibly, I must seal my lips after this. Possibly, if you keep reposting the story, I never said how many entries you could have. As long as there's, it has to be within 24 hours, right? So you got to think to yourself, we're going to announce the winner in February. How many days is that? So if you keep reposting the story and entering the raffle, I'm not going to say whether or not you get a second entry, third entry, or a 30th entry, all right? So if you're a winner, you know how to make it happen. This is guerrilla marketing, all right? So take control. Get that ATM that you want to win, guys, all right? So without further ado, let's talk about today's lessons, right? So let me get this bad boys off. Hold on one second. I'm still trying to learn this technology, guys, all right? So... This weekly live, guys, is going to be phenomenal. I'm going to show straight value, right? I thought, how can I jam pack as much information as possible within like 45 minutes, all right? So first, we're actually going to cover how you can actually generate two sources of revenue in one ATM, guys. And technically, this counts for BTMs if you're interested in that, guys. So pay attention. That's going to be the first lesson. Second of all, we're going to be covering the secrets to having an actual BTM and ATM portfolio, because at the end of the day, you want to expand your portfolio. You want to have multiple cash driven and cash flowing assets in one. So I'm going to show you the secrets to that, guys. And then we're going to finish it off to save the best lesson for last. That's just how it is, guys. I'm sorry. We're actually going to cover how you can fully automate your BTM business with ATMtogether.com, guys. It's going to be phenomenal, all right? I'm going to throw some sauce in there. You might even have your business up and running in a week, all right? So again, guys, we are pre-recording this for our YouTube channel, so make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Again, that's YouTube at ATM Together, guys, all right? So with all that said, let's see, guys. All right, let's get to the first lesson. Let's get to the first lesson. All right, so generating two sources of revenue in one ATM, guys. How many of you guys are excited to start your ATM business? I don't care if you have it up and running, guys. How many of you guys are excited? Because at the end of the day, you get a physical machine. It's one of the few businesses you can do on the side, whether you're working full time, you got a family that will produce about two hundred to a thousand dollars a month, guys. If you're excited to learn how to generate two sources of revenue in one ATM, comment, teach me, guys. Comment, teach me. I will teach you the way, guys. All you got to do is listen, right? There we go. All right, guys. So generating two sources of revenue in one ATM, guys. This is, um, is going to be good, all right? And here's the reason why I mentioned this. At the end of the day, it's great to have a business. But if you can generate additional sources of income, why wouldn't you? Let's keep it real. I mean, two is one, one is none, as they said in the Marine Corps, right? That was for combat. Excuse me. That was for combat. The same thing applies to business. Two is one, one is none. So if you can have two sources of revenue in one machine 
or one actually business, you're making money. It's a win-win for everybody. Think about it. How many times have you guys gone to a grocery store and you see they have lotto tickets? You see they have gift cards. You see they have all this different stuff. And you're like, man, this is a grocery store. They're, hey, they're all about it too. They might even have a coin star where they're collecting coins. They're getting revenue from all these different sources. I'm going to teach you the foundations to start with two for one, guys. And this is super simple. So make sure you pay attention, guys. All right? So with that being said, guys, with that being said, what I've found in the ATM business. And this is after years of research dealing with the haters because straight up in the ATM business, there's some freaking haters and, and we don't, we don't pay attention to them. We do, we do a little of this because they're haters, whatever they want to be losers. You guys are the winners. That's why you guys are here. Right? So what we found is people are a lot of naysayers. They'll say, don't enter the ATM business. Don't do this. Don't do this. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. But then when you want to ask them for a solution, what do they do? They say, I don't know. They shrug their shoulders. I'm like, this ain't a dance competition. Why don't you teach somebody something? So there's a reason why they say, and grandma probably told you this. You have two ears and one mouth for a reason. You need to listen twice as much as you talk. So when you see a hater, you tell them, shut up. Get them told you to say that. All right. So with that being said, guys, you want to actually make sure you pay attention to the source of information. As you can see on the bottom of my screen, it's scrolling. It says, hey, beware of the scam accounts. Those are the obvious IG scams, guys. But there's some other scams in the ATM business. There's some there's I'm, we're not going to badmouth anybody. I, I don't name drop anybody. But there's some there's some other players in the industry and they want to see you fail. They say, hey, man, this is the cheapest way to do it. This is, but as you know, there's a saying, right? You pay once, you cry once, because at the end of the day, you want to invest in yourself. There's a reason why you eat healthy to stay healthy. You're not going to eat junk food to get a successful, healthy body, are you? No. At the end of the day, you're going to invest in the food. You're going to invest into your actual business, which is your actual body. It's the same thing with the ATM business. Why would you want to find the cheapest way to start? None of you guys are cheap. That's like wearing those knockoff Jordans, man. I'm not going to lie. I might have had one back in the day, right, when I didn't have any money. But that's like wearing the knockoff shoes. It's like, why are you faking the funk? If you're going to get into a business, make sure you do it the right way. And if it costs you a little more to do it the right way, do it. Come on, guys. This is a lifelong business. This is years of passive income. Wouldn't you want the foundation to be set up properly? Think about that for a second. One of my buddies, one of my closest friends, he flips houses. Flips them. He makes a lot of money on the houses. But the one thing he said to me that stood out was the foundation is what matters. And it sounds so simple, right? I was just like, it blew my mind. He's like, at the end of the day, I can flip as many houses as possible. But if I'm cheap with the materials I use, if I'm cheap with what I invest into this house, I might make money, but it's going to bite me in the ass a year later. I'm going to get sued. And he told me a story how he got sued. I was like, man, that's wild. He's like, I made $500,000, but I actually ended up losing $100,000 just because they use cheap pipes and it leaked and it messed up the foundation, guys. So make sure the foundation of your business is actually solid. So with that, you have to listen to the right people, guys. Okay? So how many of you guys actually don't know how an ATM business works? I probably need to step a little bit back because I know a lot of you guys, it's your first time here. So how many of you guys don't know how an ATM business works? Comment me. It's not, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. I mean, all of us start from somewhere. That's why you're here. This is called ATM business for beginners because we're all about beginners to scale your business, but to start your business. So comment me. I want to make sure if I need to cover the basics for you guys to understand. Uh, let us see. There we go. Okay. Yeah. A few people. That's okay. All right. So let's take a step back, guys. Right. With the cash ATM business, it's extremely simple. This is how I explain it to our team members. This is how I explain it to clients. This is how I explained it to my mom. Because my mom, man, sometimes she doesn't want to listen. She wants to tell me something. She listens, then she tells me something. All right. No offense. I love my mom, but I was like, hey, I gotta, I gotta break it down. I break it down simple. All right. I break it down simple for myself. This is how I understand it. So the first thing you're gonna need is an actual cash ATM. Okay. There's a saying in the industry, when you're new, buy brand new. Shout out to Mike Sandone, our best process. I mean, the best processor in the industry. Let's keep it real, right? He taught me that. And the reason why is because when it comes down to cash ATM business, you don't know. There's no Carfax. There's no VIN number. You don't know how it's been used. Paul was telling me the story back in the day. Some guy tried to sell him an ATM. Tried to sell it for like $1,000. He's like, hey, it's, it's brand new, like new. How many of you guys have bought one of those used phones on Craigslist? And it's like, like new. And then the next day you find some donut crumbs coming out. You're like, wait a second. 
And why is this box different? Why does it say D phone, not iPhone? It's the same thing with ATMs, guys, all right? So with that being said, you always want to buy brand new. You get an actual cash ATM. You're going to place it at a location, a profitable location, typically cash driven. And I say cash driven. It doesn't need to be cash only, guys. It needs to be cash driven. And what does that mean? Get them. I get that question all the time. So when you're talking about cash driven locations, this is what I mean, guys. You want to make sure there is a need for cash at the location. It doesn't have to be cash only. It doesn't need to be a cash only barbershop, nail salon, whatever. Think of a grocery store. Think of a liquor store. It's cash driven because the credit card processing fees. They get charged those credit card processing fees. So why do you think they say, hey, if it's under $10, we're going to charge you 35 cents? Because they're getting charged 3.5%. Think about that. 35 cents is 3.5% of that $10. They're small businesses. They're getting killed. It's 2023. We're in a recession. And guess what happened, guys? Credit card processing fees went up. Talk about trying to screw the small businessman. They're trying to take the money from you, guys. You got to fight back. So this is why you want to look for a cash-driven location because at the end of the day, you're providing a service to that business owner. They have a need for cash. They have a need to reduce those credit card processing fees. And if they're not using some other program to save from the credit card processing fees, that's where you come in. You save them. You make sure they stay in business. You make sure your neighborhood keeps its value. You invest in your neighborhood by putting a cash ATM, guys. So you place that machine over there, guys. You put your money inside of it. They usually hold up to $20,000, but I'm going to tell you a secret. And I mean, this, this is how you know this is all value, guys. I give you free game. I don't care because as long as you succeed, just take a photo and tag me. and I'll be happy. So the machines themselves typically hold up to $20,000. You only need about $1,000 to $3,000 to put in inside the machine, guys. That's it. $1,000 to $3,000. How many of you guys have $3,000 in your bank account? That's all you need in your machine. So you put that in the machine. You place that at a location. You make sure you have cell service for the machine. Always have dedicated internet. And the reason why is because at the end of the day, technology fails. You don't want that Wi-Fi router to go down at that location. That would suck because the worst thing you want to get is a phone call from your merchant saying, hey, we got 15 people in here. They need to use the ATM. And it's not working because the Wi-Fi went down or somebody tripped on the wire. And now what? Or they spilled some drink on that. So you have cell service for your actual ATM. This actually came into play. So back in September, there was some hurricanes going on in Florida. The power went out. They actually had ATMs on generators, but because it was running off cell service, the cell towers were still up. So all these businesses, the only way they were able to accept payments was because that cash ATM was running. The ATM owners were killing it, but at the end of the day, it was, it was a terrible situation. But it makes sense, guys. You always want to have cell service, okay? And then you always want to get your full profit from the machine. What do I mean by that? Processing companies are fucking shady. I'm a curse on this one. They're shady. They're like old school cell phone companies. How many of you guys had the sidekick? That T-Mobile sidekick. You know what I'm talking about. You got locked in to your contract. And they said there's this thing called the early termination fee. Oh, you want to leave after a year and 11 months? No, 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 no. It's 375. You're going to pay us. And you're like, man, my phone's not even worth that much. It's the same thing with cash ATMs. It's a shady business, guys. That's why we're here to give the information to the people. All right. Make sure you're getting free processing with that actual ATM. And there's no contracts because at the end of the day, they need to fight for your business. Mike, he don't have contracts. He's like, hey, man, you want to leave? Go ahead. But at the end of the day, no one leaves. And you know the reason why is because of phenomenal service. Your processing company needs to be fighting for your business, guys. If they ask you for a one-year contract, that's a red flag. Stay away. Think about that. Think about that, guys. Do you guys get married on your first date? And no offense if you did. Maybe it was love at first sight. But imagine you go, you meet your significant other. It's February 13th. You're like, man, I'm, I'm feeling lonely. I don't got a Valentine's. And on that date, that person says, hey, get them. I got a ring. Let's commit. And you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. I barely even know you. Let them prove themselves to you first. So make sure there's no contract with your processing, guys. All right. I know I, I'm, I keep talking about marriage and all that, guys. I swear I'm not getting married. All right. So with that being said, no, no processing. So the actual ATM, this is how it works, guys. Pay attention. This is how it works. All right. So you have that ATM. It's placed there. It has your cash inside of it. On Monday, customer A goes to your account, your actual ATM. They pull out cash. We'll say about $40 to $100. They get charged a convenience fee. The average right now is about 3 or $3.50. But for simple math, I'm going to say $3. So we'll say they pulled out $20. They get charged that $3 fee. Okay, The $20 and the $3 will come back to your business checking account the next business day on Tuesday. 
on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it all gets totaled up and it comes back on Monday, the business day. All right. So if you just have five people use your machine and you times that by $3, what is that? $15. And I'm about to do math for Marines, guys. I got to hold on one second. I got to use my fingers. I got to use my toes. You guys don't see it. I'm counting with my toes. So $15 a day, $30 in a no. Yeah. 30. Sorry, guys. 30 days in a month. That means $450 in profit for your location. Think about that. And that's not including if you have a high traffic location that gets traffic on weekends. You might be having 10, 15, 20. There was recently a post in the group, Friday the 13th, tattoo parlors. People were seeing 50 transactions in a day, guys. Check it out. Kurt Davis, he posted 50 transactions times $3 is what? $150 in a day, guys. What would you do passively? $150 was made in a day. I know what I would do. I'd pay for another coffee, all right? I don't know about you guys. I'm a cop. I was a cop, guys. Come on. Let's keep it real. I like coffee. So, with that being said, that's how the actual ATM business works. Now, with that being said, this is how you make two sources of income in the business. How many of you guys know how Walmart and Costco, how the business work? Let me ask you this. How many of you guys have actually been to Walmart or Costco? And I'm going to loop them together, right? Don't be embarrassed if you go to Walmart. I go there sometimes. My mom goes there all the time. She gets her onions from there. Comments will say grocery below, all right? If you've gone to Walmart or Costco and never shopped there, and if you're in the East Coast, we're going to say Sam's Club. Comment grocery below. I got to see some some actual uh, comments, guys. Come on. Not enough engagement here. Let's see. Um, let's see this. Oh, perfect. Yep, breaking down the average fee. Let's see. Awesome. Okay. Okay. I see a few comments. All right. So with that being said, Costco, Walmart, and Sam's Club also, these big box stores, the way they make money, it's, it's extremely smart. That's why they scale so fast. So what they've discovered is they want to actually maximize the profit per square footage. So what that means is this, that's almost like going vertical. So you ever notice when you have a small bathroom, you put that shower stand that has multiple shelves on it because there's not enough width. So what do you do? You go vertical. So you want to go vertical in the ATM business. So what that means is the ATM itself is about, we'll say 20 inches wide. Okay. There's not much you can do with that. You squeeze it in a little spot in the store or wherever you're placing it. So what can you do to generate more money? Well, you can get people to use the ATM more. You can use advertisements, post it on Google Maps. You can do different driven traffic techniques that we teach our clients to make more money. Statistically proven to actually get more money with your ATMs based on the methods we teach. Okay. That's an option. But at the end of the day, you got to ask yourself, what else can I do? What else can I do passively? Well, what you actually do is you have your main source of income, which is the actual surcharges. But then you add a topper, guys. This is, I don't know how to, I don't know how to, like, to hide my excitement. You see the smile, guys? I'm excited. So what you do is you get an advertising topper. How many of you guys have been to a gas station? The moment you get that pump out of the gas pump or the gas station, guess what happens? Some guy pops up on that screen in front of you. And what do you say? He says, hey, you. Yeah, you. You pumping gas. And you're like, so he's talking to me? And it's annoying, right? But check this out. That gas station owner is just laughing all the way to the bank. He's charging you for gas, but he's also charging you for advertising. And you don't even realize it. What's happening behind the scenes is advertising companies are paying that gas station owner to host their ads there because what they understand is no one's watching normal TV anymore. So they're being creative. They put it on Netflix. They put it on Amazon Prime. But where else can they put it? They want to have those advertisements where you're at. So what do they do? They say, hey, they're going to go to the gas station. They're going to go to the grocery store. They're going to go to the barbershop. They're going to go here. So what do they want to do? They want to put ads there. Well, that business owner is not going to want, want no, sorry, not going to want to have an own TV dedicated to it. They want to have the Super Bowl up there. And I'm going to get to this in a second. So what you do is you provide a service, right? Pay attention, guys. So you get this thing called an advertising topper. You place it on top of your ATM. It's just a, it's LCD screen. It's connected to a device. And I'm going to get into this. It's going to run national ad campaigns. As long as you partner with the right company and you have to watch out, there's scams out there, guys. There are scams out there still going on. All right. So how the topper works is it's plugged in. It's plugged into the actual ATM also, and it runs these advertisements. So you should be getting paid completely passive. If you're not, you're with the wrong company because that ATM together, what we did was we did our research. And I say we, it was me, guys. I'm going to keep it real. Don't tell Paul. 
if you see him, right? If you see him in Miami walking around, because we're in Miami right now, don't tell him I said this, right? I did the research. You see these bags under these eyes? I was tired. I was researching. I was staring at the screen trying to get all this info. I ordered all these different toppers. And what we did was we found the best deal for our clients. And we said, you know what? We're not going to profit. We're going to give it to you at wholesale pricing because we have the network. Because at the end of the day, your network equals your net worth, guys. And we're all about the people. Okay, so how this works is you get that actual advertising topper, you put it on your ATM and you make passive revenue. Our clients will be making up to two hundred dollars a month in addition to that ATM. So remember that example I gave you five, five transactions a day. They say it keeps the doctor away. Right. But five transactions a day, 15 bucks a day off the ATM. What is that? Four hundred fifty dollars in the month from that plus the additional two hundred. Now you're looking at six hundred fifty dollars a month from your ATM, guys. Think about that. That's one ATM. I give two fingers, man. I told you I was in the Marine Corps. I don't have good math. So that's one ATM. Then you get your second one. That's another six fifty. What is that? Thirteen hundred dollars. Now you get another one. That's eighteen fifty. Now you get another one. You start seeing how you can start generating all this revenue. How many ATMs is it going to take you to replace your bills, guys? Comment below. We'll give an example of the ATM making. We'll say five hundred dollars a month. How many ATMs will it take you to cover your bills? Is it 10 for $5,000 a month? Is it half of that? Five for $2,500 a month? Comment below. I want to see. I actually want to see what you guys are talking about. Hey, Zeus, and I, I uh, and Zeus, I, I appreciate you saying you don't see any, uh, you don't see any bags, all right? <laughs> I appreciate that. Joseph, I see a seven. I see a number 10. I, the comments are down here, guys. That's why I'm looking. Um, let's see what's going on. Diet Darlene. Hey, what's going on? One of our all-star clients, she's an Amazon professional. If you have anything Amazon-related, like business solutions, talk to her right there. Let's see, Quan 15. Man, you what are you you getting some expensive coffee? You must be going to steakhouses all the time. What's going on? Rick, okay, Rick, 10, 10. Paul says 15 covered his bills, but I push it to 30. Man, we need that soundtrack. Push it to the limit. You know what I'm talking about. 15, okay. For me, it's going to be, let's say, $500. I can cover my bills with, say, 10 right now. I got a G-Wagon, so let's make that 20, right? <laughs> I'm going to keep it real. Let's keep that 20 for all the bills, right? So now you understand how the toppers, in addition to the actual cash ATM, will double your revenue, guys. So now let's get into this a little more, all right? So unfortunately, in the ATM business, like I said, there's some shady characters, and there's a lot of suppliers out there. I just told you right now, we're not making profit. And the reason why is we're reinvesting into our clients. That's why we're not even offering it to anybody other than clients. And the reason why is because we want to see our clients succeed. Because at the end of the day, there's enough money out there, but we want our clients to make the most of it. I'm, we're just selfish, right? I want my tribe. I want my team to win. How many of you guys got your favorite team? You know what? Comment below. How many of you guys are going to watch the Super Bowl in a few weeks? Comment your favorite team below. I want to find out exactly. You know, I already know our team. We got we got Gianni in the East Coast. He's gonna say like the he's gonna say the New York Knicks. I don't, he doesn't watch football. Myself, I'm a Bay Area fan. I like the Oakland Raiders, not Las Vegas Raiders. The Oakland Raiders. So comment below what's your favorite football team. All right, there we go. Awesome, 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 guys. All right. So with that being said, guys. That is how the actual toppers work. But you want to make sure you avoid scams. What typically happens in the topper business is this, right? I'm going to keep it real because I, I found out this the hard way. I paid, a, I paid a decent amount of money to pay for different toppers to actually test them to see which one we're going to select. Because we understood that we want to make sure we want to protect our team. Our team is the ATM together team, all right? We wanted to make sure you guys are protected. We were going to take the risk for you because we're looking at 2,000, 3,000 ATMs, including Canada. Okay, so what you want to watch out for is the sketchy characters. They're going to give you inaccurate numbers. We're fully transparent. What happens with us is at the end of the month, you actually get an invoice with the statement, a monthly statement, just like a bank. Straight up, we actually send it to you. You make sure you give us your banking documents and everything. We give you a deposit. We give you an actual statement saying exactly how much money you made. But in addition to this, a lot of these companies don't let you actually advertise your own space on that screen. That's not fair. What if you have your own advertising want to run? What if you want to advertise yourself? You want to say, hey, I have this ATM business and you put a QR code and say, if you want a free ATM placement, scan this code. Think about that. So with us, what we found was we found a way to actually have our clients be able to advertise on search. So if you're like, Dai, Mr. Arlene or Deshonda, I got to give her a real name and she's professional. 
What's she going to say? Hey, if you guys are looking for this type of solution, scan this QR code. So now you're able to triple your revenue because in your actual business or in your day-to-day -day life, now you can drive traffic to that for free as you're making money. How many of you guys would be interested in a little more information on toppers, right? I'm not talking about buying it because we don't make any money off it anyway, but just a little more information on toppers. If you're interested, comment me below because unfortunately, I got to cut this lesson short. I'm getting DM saying, hurry up, we're running out of time. All right, so comment me below. One of our team members will give you more information on how advertising toppers work and how you can use that to take advantage of your business, guys. All right, so with that being said, guys, Oh, we got a we got a comment in here. I got to show this, right? This is uh pretty funny. I'm embarrassed to say who my favorite team is, guys. We got we got some interesting characters in the lives. I, <laughs> I like it, guys. So, with that being said, guys, let's get into our next lesson because we are running out of time. I promise I'd keep this under an hour just because I respect your guys' time. I want to give you some efficient information, guys. All right. So, what I'm going to cover next is going to be the secrets to having a BTM and ATM portfolio. And I give you a little bit of gems. I like to structure it appropriately. So now you guys understood the basics of the ATM business because the ATM business, remember, was the foundation for us. So for us, what I found is this. All right. We started with our foundation. I'm going to keep it real because we're all about BTMs now because we see the future. Right? Once I got a fulfillment company that broke it down for us and me being a crypto investor since 2016, I won't say how much I made, but I'm going to keep it, put it like this. I bought Bitcoin at $500 to $600. That's it. That's all I'm going to say, right? So with that being said, once I saw the future in this, I said, like, hey, we got to make sure the people know about this, Paul. I, was, I did our due diligence. I made sure people were legit. I said, this is exactly what we need to focus the future on. But remember, we also started with cash ATMs. That was the foundation. That's like, it's almost like, it's almost like your first dog, right? It's the foundation, right? It's young. It trained you. The dogs train you, by the way, to be how you need to be, to be able to take care of somebody else. The ATMs are like that for us. They're our foundation. That's the, that's the stay-at-home dog, right? You take care of them. You buy them the cashmere sweatier. Just like me, I used to have a Great Dane. I took care of them. I had a police dog. I bought them $1,000 worth of food. So with cash ATMs, that's how we look at it. That is the foundation for a business. But with Bitcoin ATMs, guys, there is so much potential, right? So if you're excited to learn how to actually run a BTM and ATM portfolio, comment BTM below, guys. That is B like Bravo, T like Tango, M like Mike. If you're in the military, you know what I'm talking about. BTM below, guys. I want to make sure you guys are actually excited to learn about this. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Bilal Kari. He's like BYM. I don't know what that stands for, but it's all right. <laughs> so I know how it feels. All right. So with that being said, guys. Let's cover this. Let's cover this. And we got some love for Gianni here. Andy, that's what I'm talking about. So the first thing you got to do, guys, when it comes to this business is you have to avoid scams. Don't you understand why I keep saying this? I mean, at the end of the day, you must pay attention, guys. Back in like back in the law enforcement days, we had this code when we told everybody to pay attention. Listen, listen carefully for it. Code guys. 33, code three, cover, please. Code 33, code three, cover, please. Code 33. What that means is everybody pay attention. There's an emergency. This is how important this is, guys. Watch out for scams in the business. I can't stress how important this is. We recently, this is why we moderate our, our group. You ever notice how there's no crypto scams? There's no actual, there's no um, foreign trading. There's no like scam. Like there's all this, you know, those, those comments that come in. We actually paid for a full-time editor to screen everybody. So no one would scam me in the group because we want to make sure it's a safe community, guys. So, Recently, somebody tried to get in, tried to pull a fast one. Paul's like, hey, did you see that? I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, this guy tried to get in on us. He tried to take down the team. So check this out, guys. You always have to watch out. Let me let me show you exactly what this is, right? So I'm going to cover this. Really, Recently had a post. Yeah, I see this. All right, here we go. Read this for yourself, guys. Check this out. So... The average ATM cost, guys, is about, we'll say about $2,500 for cash ATM, approximately. This person wants you to sell a quote unquote brand new, remember when I told you? Brand new ATM in addition to a location, guys. A location plus a, for $1,000. What kind of BS is that? Hey, comment below, true or false? 
if you think this is a real post, guys, if you think this person is actually trying to sell a real ATM and location, comment true or false. I want to get your guys' opinion on this, right? This is like family feud. Ask a friend, or is that Jeopardy? I want to see exactly what you guys think about this comment. What, think about this. A brand new ATM installed at a location for $1,000, guys. Okay. I see that. The real people are coming out. It's false. You see that little checkbox right here? You know what we said? Boot it. Get out of here. You're not tricking us with this because the people on this live know better, right? So you have to watch out for these scams, guys. It is so important. I, I can't emphasize this enough. The first thing, I mean, I could stop this entire live, and this is the one thing I want you to pay attention to. Stop the scams because what we found is as we got big, and this is, this is kind of like, you know, uh, that song, you know, we finally made it. My Instagram profile, as I started, just I finally started posting stuff because Paul's like, hey, please just start posting, man. The people need this value. I started posting. It grew from like 300 followers to about 10.3K now because people want this information. There's no, there's no true information. People are, they're hunting for this information. So what I found was they had it started having scam accounts. Check this out, guys. I have to put this on our lives now to protect you guys. Somebody paid 95, no, no, it was $9,900 to a scammer on Instagram. What they did, they literally copied the profile. They had a picture of Paul. They sent them a Venmo request. I was like, who, $9,900 on Venmo? Are you kidding me? So you have to watch out for the scams, guys. I'm telling you right now, you have to pay attention to this. This is the one thing you want to know. When you're running an ATM and BTM portfolio, even us, we have other businesses approach us. They try to scam us. Recently, some software company approached us and they said, we want you to sign a one-year contract. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. I don't even know how it works. Can I at least like check it out? Is there a free trial? No. One-year contract. That's what we do. I'm like, For $20,000? Like, yeah, that's what we do. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pass. And then I found out there was a cheaper solution. That was way better. That's just how it is, guys. You have to watch out for the scams, right? So with that being said, the first thing you want to do is remember, when you're running an ATM, VTM portfolio, watch out for the scams. And then you want to maximize your square footage, right? So now think about it like this. You're at a liquor store. You started. You got your cash ATM. You're spitting a little game. You're like, John, man, I'll take care of you. I'll get a free ATM and you're going to make money off that ATM. How's that sound? Sounds phenomenal. All right. Well, I'll have it here next week installed. Anything else you need for me? No. Cool. That's going to be right over there. Awesome. Just make sure you move that fridge. We'll put it right over there. I'll put a sign. I'm going to put this little screen and I'm going to let you run advertisements on it. And they're like, phenomenal. Now you're profiting. You're making a few hundred dollars per month on that location. All right. A few weeks later, you find out ATM together got this new thing. The red dress, the girl in the red dress, new girl on the block. We're like, hey guys, we got this little thing. Pay attention. It's called BTMs. This is how you're going to make money off of this. So pay attention, guys. With a Bitcoin ATM, it works in conjunction with a cash ATM. They don't compete against each other. It's two different businesses. So now you have your cash ATM, you have your topper, and guess what you have now? You have a Bitcoin ATM. So you have three businesses in one, guys. How many of you guys want to get three businesses in one? Comment me below. I don't think you understand how severe, how, I mean, this, I'm like telling you there's a category five hurricane coming guys. Watch out, take cover. You got three businesses of one comment me below. I want to see that you guys are paying attention. I don't think you guys understand this, this, the magnitude of this. We're in a recession and I'm teaching you how you passively can get three businesses in one. Right? So with that being said, I got a few comments. I got some heavy hitters in this comment, Ben, Benjamin, Bilal, these, these guys are heavy hitters. They already started their businesses. They're all about their money. That's why they're still here. They're educating themselves. All right. So with that being said, you put that Bitcoin ATM right next to it. So you take advantage of your network. You have two networks here. No, you have three networks. You have your advertising network. You have the ATM together network. And you have what? You got John, who's that business owner. And you say, John, man, we've been making money together for a while, right? He's like, yeah, man, it's been good. How's the family? Man. Bueno, muy bueno. Y tú? Muy bueno. Now, you're like, I got another opportunity for you. So he's like, what? You might even bust out some Espanol. You might, ¿Quieres dinero? And he's going to say, what? Of course. And in case you guys don't see Spanish, I'm saying you guys like money. All right? So with that being said, I'm spitting some game for you guys. Because if you got a, an actual location 
where they're bilingual, that's all you got to say. Quieres dinero. And what are they going to say? Claro que sí, si, which means what? Of course. Now, you tell them, I got this opportunity. My ACM is barely taking the space, and we're just making you money because we understand times are tough. We're saving you from these credit card processing fees. Okay? Now, this is what I got for you. I got a Bitcoin ATM. He's like, why would I use a Bitcoin ATM? I was like, well, first of all, you ever heard of Western Union? He's like, of course I have. I send money overseas to my family all the time. This is going to replace Western Union. They're sweating right now. And if you work for Western Union, be quiet, all right? Because they might fire you finding out if you're going to do this. This machine allows people to buy and sell Bitcoin for cash right then and there. There's absolutely nothing else available like this. And somebody might say, well, I'm just going to go to an exchange. No, you're not. All these exchanges are going down. I'm telling you, I've been involved in crypto since 2016. I've seen the exchanges go down back in 2017. I saw what happened. I was in, I had like 19 exchange accounts before anybody was, I was the guy with a tinfoil hat on. I used to go with the big name players. So much so to this day, I'm not going to name the companies. They'll let me trade up to a million dollars because they're like, man, this dude's been with us for what seven years now. He's got the money. So I know what I'm talking about with this, guys. I'm considered an SME or subject matter expert. I actually have a free program, Crypto for Beginners, to break down crypto for you. I just, I just gave it away. I don't even care. I just want you to have the info. So I understand what I'm talking about. Now, you tell them, check this out. You put this, money, you put this machine here. Customers are going to go there. They're going to want to buy and sell crypto for cash. So they got, we'll say, $1,000 in cash. They go to that machine. They find it on Google Maps or whatever online portfolio the company that's offering you should do for you. OK, they go there, they go there, they actually do scan their ID real quick. They put their phone number in. They put the cash in as much as they want to buy five thousand, ten thousand, whatever. And they immediately get crypto for that. So if they have a ledger, guess what? They get it straight to their actual ledger, which is just a little wallet. Looks like a USB, guys. So if they have that, that's what they get it to. And you know what? I'm going to see if I still have my ledger with me. Let me see if I can show it to you guys. Ah, oh, no, I don't, I don't, I don't have it. All right. I usually carry it all. I always carry it with me, guys. I just can't find it. All right. So it goes to a ledger. Now, with that being said, it takes about 10 minutes for that. So think about this for a second. If it only takes 10 minutes to go across the internet to somewhere else, think about the borders it opens up for you. How many guys got family in South America? How many guys got family in Africa, Asia? North Dakota, because North Dakota is basically a different state. Or it's a different country. Let's, let's keep it real, guys. Or if you're from New York City, you guys are a whole different country. I don't know how you guys do it. All right? No offense, but let's, let's keep it real. So you're able to send as much money as you want across the globe within minutes. Think about what that is able to do for you. It's so important that we started recording videos in Spanish to get you guys ready to make as much money as possible because we see the potential and no one else is doing it. I just told you a secret. That's It's a business secret. We're recording videos in Spanish for people to use the machines for you because we're taking care of the marketing. All right. So if somebody goes to that machine, they put in a thousand dollars, they get charged about 15 to 20 percent, guys. And you're probably wondering, like, who paid 15 to 20 percent? Well, if you don't have a bank account or you don't trust the banks or maybe you got a little extra cash, maybe you got a cash only business. You're like, hey, man, I'm, times are tough. I don't pay the IRS. Uh, I'm not judging. Right. There's no judgment here. I was in law enforcement. I understand people got to do what they got to do. I'm gonna keep it real. So. With that being said, you as the Bitcoin ATM owner will make $150 to $200 off that transaction. Based on our training experience, what we have found is the average is about $1,000 to $6,000. And you're probably wondering, man, that's a pretty wide range. It's like, well, there's up months and there's down months because it's sales. But when it comes down to it, someone can come in and this happens. We have the story of this, this elderly Asian lady who came in and always deposited her cash, $50,000. We've seen machines that make $100,000 in profit a month. But I don't like to have unrealistic expectations. So what I say is about $1,000 to $6,000 a month. That's what you can expect. So you place that machine there. You have cash management handled for you. You have the advertising on that topper also managed for you. And guess what? Now you have three sources of revenue. So who's to say? That beast, that actual business owner is going to say, of course. What do I get out of it? And he's like, man, I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to give you 10% of net. What does that mean? So out of that $150, you pay them 15 bucks. Now you times that by 10, they made $150. So they're happy. All they got to do is plug it into the freaking power outlet. And I go, of course, there's nothing there anyway. Just keep paying me. So you start seeing how you can do this, guys. But that's not it. So this is how you actually scale. What you do is you capture momentum, guys. Here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing about momentum. 
Momentum, I'm, I'm telling you right now, you need to pay attention, guys. Momentum is what is going to directly result in you upgrading your zip code right now. You will upgrade your zip code. 2023 is going to be a life-changing year for you. I'm not even just trying to hype you up. I'm I, man, ask Paul. I call that guy every night. I'm sure, I'm sure his family's like, man, who keeps calling you? Let's get him, man. He calls me at midnight. I'm like, Paul, 2023 is going to be the year. He's like, it's all right. It's all right. I tell my family. I call them. I'm like, 2023 is going to be your year. There is a shift in the economy occurring right now. And if you don't get a business started right now and capture the momentum, you will be behind. The gap is widening, guys. There is not going to be a middle class. You will be lower class or you will be upper class. I'm going to keep it real. This is not PC. This is not going to make you feel good, but it's to motivate you to capture momentum, guys. If you know for sure 2023 is going to be your year and you're going to take advantage of it because you're like, hey, you know what? It's still January. It's three weeks. All these other people, they quit their gym memberships. They quit their New Year's resolutions already. They said, I'm done. I can't do it. But you are still here taking action. So if you know 2023 is going to be your year to take action, comment, it's mine below. At the end of the day, 2023 is your year. You own it. Don't let society shame you guys. Take what's yours. It's the reason you're here tonight. Take action. I don't care if you start an ATM business or not. Take action in that thing you wanted to do. That's why you're here because you know there's something more out there for you. All right? That's what I'm talking about, guys. I see the motivation in the comments. That's what I'm talking about. So capturing momentum, guys. Word of mouth, word of mouth. I actually just had a client message me. He said, hey, get them. How do you find those premium locations? I said, hey, let me show you a great example. Brandon Pham. He is one of our best team members, right? And this is kind of like when I talk to my nieces and nephews. I can't say best to anybody else because everyone gets jealous, right? My little niece says, wait, I thought I was your best. All right, guys. He's one of our best team members, all right? He just landed a deal for multiple dispensaries in California, guys. Brandon is making over $30,000 in the ATM business. How many of you guys want to make $30,000 in the ATM business? It ain't going to be overnight. Brandon's been in the business for over four years, guys. You got to have commitment in this business. Don't listen to these little naysayers and haters in these little ATM. They're nice freaking haters, man. We don't pay attention to them. Same thing in law enforcement. I was like, hey, man, let me brush my shoulder off. I don't listen to you. I'm going to make it happen because in law enforcement, there's some straight haters too. Why do you think me and Paul left? We were heavy hitters. There's a saying, 20% of the people do 80% of the work. That's not true. That's not true. 1% does the work, guys. 1% does the work and no one wants to. That's why you guys are here because you're that 1%. You guys are the winners. You're the top Gs when it comes down to business, when it comes down to work ethic. So you need to capture your momentum. Think about this for a second. What's the way you can do this? Well, let me break down how Brandon did it. Brandon has dispensaries already. Brandon landed another dispensary contract. In addition to that, he got 13 additional locations, all smoke shops. And you know how? Let me explain to you how, guys. And I'm going to tell Brandon to record a video because you guys probably won't believe me. I'm telling you right now, Brandon got a $160,000 SUV. He doesn't flex on the internet like everybody else. But check this out, man. He's a secret millionaire. He's over here. He's doing his thing. I'm only like that. I won't, I won't get into another man's business. But he's been invested in the ATM business for years. He actually found a location through our location finder service years ago. It didn't pan out. But he didn't give up because he's a winner just like you guys. He kept in contact with his business. I'm, I'm listening to him. Like I'm, He blew my mind. I'm like, you're telling me you kept in contact with this business owner for over a year. He's like, yeah. I'm like, at the end, he's like, at the end of there, all I got to do is text him. I was like, hey, man, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. How about you? Cool, cool, cool. That's it. Just kept giving him value. He's like, hey, man, you might want to watch out for this. Credit card fees are going up. Oh, man, I appreciate that. Hey, you should tech, talk to this guy. He'll help you out with this. Oh, I appreciate that. He took advantage of his network. Now, check this out. The guy didn't want to have his ATMs initially. Literally, like two weeks ago, he hit someone. Hey, Brandon, man, you still in that ATM game? He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, you still got like two? He's like, no, I got like 25 now. He's like, really? He's like, yeah. He's like, well, check this out, man. This this ATM owner, he's tripping. Or if you're from New York, he's bugging. <laughs> you guys are from New York, you know what I'm talking about. He's like, this dude is tripping. He doesn't fill up the ATM. He wants me to fill it up half the time. And I'm like, how do I even open this thing? 
and I got him 13 locations. He's like, so check this out, man. Contract's ending. He's like, real? Word? Brandon doesn't say words. That's not how he talks, but look, look at him getting character, right? <laughs> so he's like, for real? Yeah. Contract is ending. Next month, Brandon's about to sign a new contract. And this, this ATM owner might be like, well, wait a second. What city is he talking about? That might be me. <laughs> so they might. Don't tell, tell anybody, guys. We keep these in the Facebook group. It's secret. Don't tell them, right? Things are happening. Brandon's going to sign the contract for 13 smoke shops now because he kept with it. He captured momentum. He stayed persistent. He kept scaling his business, but he kept that guy in his network because your network equals your net worth. That's why you're here, guys. Take advantage of that. Why do you think all these seven-figure, eight-figure, nine-figure earners, and in case you didn't know, that's a million, 10 million, and 100 million. They all say the same thing. They're not lying. They're just trying to spit game at you. I'm trying to tell you what jumped my zip code up from, from straight up from the hood to move into an expensive area in Miami and Brickle, if you guys know where that's at, where you're looking at 15 G's a month on rent. I'm trying to spit game for you guys to understand what's going on here. You need to take advantage of your network. So if you have your first ATM, what do you do? Close mouth, don't get fed. Ask that business owner. Ask him like, hey, man, you have anybody else that would take advantage of a free ATM? I want to help them out too. He's like, yeah, actually, you're right. My sister has a nail salon. Really? Yeah. It doesn't have that many people, but I'd really appreciate it if you can put it there. You're like, hey, man, don't worry about it. I'll take care of you. You go to that nail salon. It might not have that many transactions, but you know there's a bigger picture in play. Mike saying don't. The number one processor out there has over 120 locations. He went from being homeless to having 120 locations, making him over $50,000 a month right now. Guys, killing it in the game. Passive. He decided he still wants to vault some of his machines. Do you think he got to 120 locations out of nowhere? He's been in the game for over 10 years, a decade. More than some of you guys have even been in college. Think about that. He is an expert. He has a PhD in the ATM business, guys. Mike is the original ATM university. Don't let these little copycats out here hear. Mike is the university out here. Think about that. A PhD takes you how many years? Mike has been in so long, he has the equivalent of the PhD. He scaled his business sustainably. Some of those locations didn't work out. It's okay. I was just talking to my buddy. Some, a BTM location didn't work out. And guess what? He's like, hey, check this out, man. I'm going to hit up my girl. She knows this guy. Who knows this guy? Who knows that guy? Who knows that guy? And we're about to get a BTM in a location. I'm like, hey, make it happen, man. I'll take care of you. Take advantage of your network. The way you take advantage of momentum is open your freaking mouth. And I'm not saying open your mouth and just start yapping and like complaining, dude. Nobody wants to hear with that, man. That's why we only take premium clients out here. We're extremely selective. In case you guys didn't know, we stopped enrollments for January. We have people begging to enroll with us because we want to keep quality the same. That's why we do things like get ATM toppers at cost. It's going to make you an additional 200 a month. It ain't about us. It's about reinvesting in you because we understand five years from now, anything can happen. Straight up, I might get cancer and you might be a doctor just like one of our clients who's a surgeon in Maryland and you might be the person I'm there with and you're like, you know what? Damn, that's get him. That dude took care of me. He told me about those free four locations, which I did. Chris knows. Chris Zaraga, one of our clients. I was like, hey, man, this is for you, man. This guy wants to, doesn't want to start the business. He has four stores. Here you go. We want to take care of you because at the end of the day, we know you're the future. It's like your parents. Your parents would be like, hey, mija, mira, mira, which means listen or look at me, all right? They're going to say, look at me. I want to take care of you because you're the future generation. You guys are the future generation in the ATM and BTM business. And guess what? We want you to capture momentum because I don't know. You might run into me and be like at Starbucks. I'm like, hey, get them. I got your coffee. I got your pistachio cream coffee because that's what I like, right? So with that being said, take care of momentum. Capture that. After that, you want to stay revenue driven, okay? And what I mean by this is this. Don't get distracted. Paul and myself were at this major mastermind, and we kept hearing the same thing from the winners. The winners were saying, pay attention and stay focused. Don't have all these different options. The worst thing you can do is do multiple things, because guess what? You only have enough attention span. The worst thing you could do is try to start multiple businesses at once, because you will fucking fail. I don't care. I'm a curse. This is Facebook. I'll curse if I want. 
You will fail. I need to drive this point home. Start with one business and scale, guys. And the way you do this is by staying revenue driven. You need to ask yourself, what moves the needle? What in your business moved the needle? Meaning that from zero to this part. Well, it's probably going to be scaling your business. Don't worry about this other stuff. Throw in a topper on that thing. But you want to make sure you're not getting distracted by all the white noise because this is what happens. There's always going to be something new out there. It's not going to work. And the reason why is because you only have so much attention in your life. You can do multiple things. I'm not going to lie. You can do multiple things. But multitasking is a fallacy. It's impossible. It's been proven by scientists. So this is what's going to happen. You're going to do multiple things and you're either going to fail or you're going to barely be able to do them. Would you rather do one thing perfectly and be known as the expert or do multiple things really bad? Who's going to be the respected person? Who's going to be the successful person? Comment below what you think. Comment below. I want to I actually want to know. This is interactive, guys. Do you think the person doing multiple things is going to be the successful one? Or the person that starts with one and then scales to another thing, makes sure that thing's expert, an expert in that field, and then goes to the next thing. This is a long-term race, guys. Think about that. Think of yourself as a sailboat. You're going through the chop. It's like the Titanic. You're staying focused and going straight down that azimuth. If you're in the Navy or you've been on a boat, maybe you're a merchant marine, you know the azimuth. It's a direction. Or if you go hiking, you're staying in that same direction. You don't care that a wave is pushing you this way. You don't care that a wave is pushing you this way and this way and this way. And you're like, I'm just going to stay steady right over here. That's it. In this direction. Focus on your business and stay revenue driven, guys. It is extremely important. You want to be an expert in your field. Be an expert of your industry, whether that's making tacos, empanadas, being a coffee shop barista that owns the coffee shop. Be an expert in your industry. And as long as you stay consistent, treat it like a race. If you keep running as fast as you can in the same direction and ignore everything else, guess what? At a certain point, at a certain point you're going to outpace the competition so much that even if you walk – even if you walk, guys, they're going to smash the competition because they're going to be so far behind you. You're going to be like this and like this. Like, let me just drink my coffee. Do you understand what I'm saying? Stay revenue driven. Stay focused on your business, guys. And that's exactly how you're going to maximize having two portfolios in one. And check this out. If you're interested in Canada, like I mentioned, you know what's a comment. I'm not even going to say it because you weren't there. You can have your third revenue stream in the same business and you're not distracted because it's the same business you're scaling everywhere. Why do you think Walmart doesn't go into all these different things? But when they do, guess what happens? They lose millions of dollars and they go back to their bread and butter, which is having a warehouse store. All they do is replicate what they did. How many of you guys have been to In-N-Out? I go to In-N-Out. It's my favorite burger spot. In-N-Out is known for burgers. And guess what they offer? You think they got chicken sandwiches? Nope. You think they got French fries with some freaking special stuff on? Nope. They focus on burgers and burgers only because they know that's what revenue drives their revenue. And they are one of the biggest businesses. They pay the most for their employees, guys. They focus on burgers. They said, hey, do you want one patty, two patty, or three? Or you want, oh, you want to be special? You want to go off the menu? You can get four patties. That's it. People are like, man, you guys are going to fail. You don't offer, you don't offer soup. You don't offer that. No, 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 no. All we want to focus on is burgers and we're going to be the best at it, guys. And no offense if you don't like In-N-Out. It's okay, right? I like In-N-Out. I'm a California guy. But stay focused, guys. All right? Now, let's get to the last lesson because we are actually running out of time, right? So how to fully automate your BTM business with the ATM Together team. And, and, and keep in mind, guys, this, this isn't a pitch. I told you, we already stopped enrollments. If you want to get a cash ATM business, you got to wait um, seven more days. And and trust me when I say this, there's there's a lot of people that are like, hey, we can't wait for Floodgate to be open. It's like, it, this is like Black Friday when it comes down to it. You know, Black Friday, you go to the store, you know that TV, that that 20 inch, not 20 inch, right? I'm dating myself, that 65 inch screen. And I apologize, guys. As you know, I don't even have a TV at my house. That screen Whatever it is, 3D, you know, curved display. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's on sale. You've seen those videos. They open that door. Everyone's going in there, all right? So with that being said, guys, I want to show you how you can automate your BTM business with the ATM Together team, all right? So let me ask you guys this. I got a, I got a question for you, all right? I got a question. 
So how many of you know, and I say no, not N-O, I see K-N-O-W, know that you will succeed? 